Hey everyone, welcome to EdTech Hustle. Today I'm coming to you in animated form because I'm going to be showing you one of the more requested topics on this channel. That is how to make a video with multiple animated characters like this one using Adobe Express. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to need, of course, is Adobe Express. Now, a comment that I get all the time, people always ask, is it free or is it paid? Now, normally I do have the paid version, but I created a separate account in Adobe Express. This is completely free. You go to express.adobe.com. You can sign up for a free account. You can even see up here at the top, it's asking me to sign up with a free trial. You can see uh, some of the plans that are up here, but what you're going to do is to find the option that is going to allow you to animate. Now, it looks a little bit different than what it looks like on the paid version, but this is the main screen I've signed in. We are going to go right over here to where it says animate characters. Now, for some reason, if that's not there, just go up to search and search for animate characters, and that is going to take you directly where you need to go. So the first thing that you need to do is to come up with the character characters that you want. Okay, so I said, well, you know, we just had Valentine's Day. Let me do something about a teacher. And I think there's a heart or something here. And the heart is going to try to win the teacher's heart, that sort of thing. Just a stupid idea to give you guys an idea of how to do this. Okay, so what we have to do, we've got our two characters. We have a general premise. The next thing I need to do is have a script. Now, you can write the script out on your own. What I did just to make it simple is to enter the premise into ChatGPT and have ChatGPT come up with a, a really generic kind of script. And here that script is, you can see it's called Heart to Heart. Eh, not the best script, but I think something that will give you an idea of how this will work. All right, so I do want to show you this. And the first thing that we're going to have to do is to set our size. So normally when you when you start this for the first time, it's going to give you the default size of an Instagram post. And this is a video, so we don't want that Instagram post because it's not going to fill up our screen. We want something like this that says landscape. That is going to not only create a video in that video form, but it's also going to give us the maximum space that we're going to need for our two characters. All right. I'm going to leave that the way it is for size. The next thing is to choose your background again. There's several different options on here. If you want, you can even use this custom color for a green screen background. Transparent is not going to work uh, in a video, so don't worry about that. It does work with Adobe Express, but we're just going to skip that. So now we have the background we want. We have the character. We have the size. Now what we have to do is start reading the script for our one character. Okay, so I'm just about ready to record. I'm going to click on this button to enhance my speech. It's just gonna make my audio sound a little bit better. Now, there's a particular way that you need to record this, and I just wanna show you the script that I have right over here. So as you can see the script, it's going to be Hardy talking first, and then Mrs. Thompson. So what we're going to do, knowing that Hardy talks first, is I'm gonna wait maybe about three seconds or so, and then I'm going to read the line for Mrs. Thompson. I'm gonna wait again around three seconds or so, read my line for Mrs. Thompson. You get the idea. So I'm basically going to pause. Now when I record Hardy next, I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna read his lines, wait about three seconds, read the next one. So I'm gonna kind of alternate my lines, read one character, but leave a little bit of space for the other character's dialogue as well. So. Let me uh, first just move this window out of the way. Let me go to record. Hardy, for the last time, no. Listen, Hardy, I deal with real hearts all day. Blood flow, oxygen transport, not whatever this is. I want a heart that stays in rib cages where it belongs. Okay, that's it. That was really quick. 30 second clip. Now I did leave a little bit of pad at the end, which is just the character kind of standing there, not talking in case I need to use that because there may be times where our audio kind of overlaps as you'll see, as you'll see in one second. 
Okay, so my video is finished. Now again, if I want to, I could trim it, I can bring it in the Adobe Express editor, but I can do a lot of that in the editor that I'm going to use with that being iMovie. So I'm just going to download this. That is now downloaded. So now what I'm going to do is just close out of here. I'm gonna go back to our animate program. And this time I'm gonna do the same exact thing, but I'm not gonna use Emily as my character. I'm going to use my second character, which was our heart. And I'm gonna move him over to the side like this. Now, the other thing that I wanna do now is just to switch this background. So I'm gonna switch this background now to the custom color, which is going to be a green. We're gonna use like a green screen effect like you've probably seen before. I'm going to switch this to enhance speech and now I'm going to read my lines for Hardy. Let's hit record. Miss Thompson, you set my ventricles on fire. Won't you be my valentine? Oh, you wound me deeper than a triple bypass. But don't you want a heart that truly beats for you? Tough crowd. Maybe the school nurse will appreciate me. So that's finished. Now let's wait for it to finish processing and we'll download this clip. All right, so I downloaded that video. You can see it right over here. I also have my other video, which I imported into my editor. In this case, it's iMovie. Now I used iMovie because it's free. Also because you can use multiple tracks, edit them on top of each other, which we're going to need. And then finally, because it has a green screen effect. So you can use really any editor that gives you the option to do any of those three processes. But I'm just choosing iMovie. You don't have to use it. You can choose the editor of your choice. So the first thing I'm going to do is to take my clip of our teacher, Miss Thompson, drag this down here. Let's go ahead and play a few seconds. Hardy, for the last time, no. Okay, now if you remember, she's the second person talking in the script. It starts out with Hardy. So I'm going to take him and drag him on top of this clip. Remember, I left some blank space in the beginning. So I'm just going to kind of play this. Let's go ahead and play this now. Miss Thompson. Okay, not quite there. I'm just going to trim this down just a little bit. Drag this to the front. Let's go ahead and play. Miss Thompson, you set my ventricles on fire. Won't you be my Valentine? Hardy, for the last time, no. All right, a couple problems here. Number one, Hardy is there with the green screen. We can't even see Miss Thompson. And this is what we're going to do inside iMovie. We're going to use that green screen to remove the background. To do this, we're just going to click on the effects tab and go right over here to where it says green, blue screen, that removed that green in the background, and now both of them are on the screen at the same time, which is good. But you'll notice that there's kind of a little bit of an overlap over here. Party for the left. So here's what we're gonna do. All I'm gonna do is just take Miss Thompson down here at the bottom. I'm going to hit Control B. It's gonna make a split. Hit Control B again. We have this clip right over here, what I'm going to do is copy, move my playhead right about here, and now I'm going to paste that. And I've kind of extended this a little bit. So now, once he finishes talking, Miss Thompson should be ready. Here we go. My Valentine, Hardy for the last time, no. Now, if it's not quite the way you want it, we can always kind of take this back and drag this down a little bit. We can also trim this clip. Sort of like that. Hardy for the last time, no. Oh, you will me deeper than a triple by Listen, Hardy. Okay, again, we have the same kind of problem, so I'm just going to make a split here. Control B, and then I'm going to paste that additional footage. Trim this down just a little. Let's even trim it down just a little more. We don't need really that much space. And now, well, bye. listen, Hardy, I deal with real hearts all day. Blood flow, oxygen transport, not whatever don't you want a heart that Oh, almost got it. Now, what we're going to do here, same thing with Hardy. This clip is, a this the, the clip above is going to be a little easier. Whoops. 
I just want to make sure that I make just one clip here. I'm just going to kind of extend this. Oh, let me try that again. Copy. Let's paste just like that. Kind of move my clip over here. Here we go. Not whatever this is. Don't you want a heart that truly beats for you? I want a heart that stays in ribcage where it belongs. Tough crowd. Maybe the school nurse will appreciate it. Okay, and that's it. Now we have a little bit more of Hardy on the screen. I'm just going to make another clip by selecting Control B, turn the volume down. Now this gives you an idea of how our video is. You can see that it was pretty easy. All I did is I recorded, first off I had the script, I recorded a video track for each character, combined them together by just stacking them on top of each other here. Uh, for that one video that I recorded with the green screen, I removed that green screen and then all I did was just kind of listen. If it was ever a time when the audio overlapped, I just added some additional um, kind of just dead space where the character was just sort of looking at the camera. When you go and watch this back, you can't even tell. So that's just a little bit of how I did this process. If you really wanted to get very um, specific, you could read it, time each section out, say three seconds for line one, four seconds for line two. And as you were reading the different parts, just kind of mentally in your head count and sort of space those pauses apart but this is just kind of a quick and easy way to do this of course from here i can export this as a video file and upload it anywhere so that's it that's the process this is how you can use multiple characters with adobe express add them into your editor and create your own animated videos so i'm hoping that this video was helpful for you i'm sure you're going to have questions go ahead and leave them in the comment area and if this video actually is something that you find valuable, I would love it if you could subscribe and like this video. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day and more importantly, that you have fun animating with audio.